now a legal practitioner in Ebe here, Efion, has added his voice to say there was no reason for the suspension of Twitter activities in Nigeria. The legal practitioner was on our political program Plus Politics earlier tonight. He urged Nigerians to punish the politicians who were complicit in the issue that led to the ban during the upcoming 2023 elections. There was no reason for the suspension or the ban to have been imposed in the first place. As I have consistently maintained, it was a decision that was not warranted, it was a decision that was taken in bad faith, it was a decision that was taken on account of vengeance, in pursuance of vendetta, by a regime that felt slighted by what was rightfully perceived by a large section of the population as a genocidal and irresponsible tweet by the president was deleted. That, was, that accounted for the so-called ban that the government imposed. So eventually, the government had to reverse the abnormality that they had forced on the country. Those who participated in the atrocities that have been committed against Nigerians, the Dragonian measures, the high handedness, the party that is complicit, the political party and the political actors who are complicit in these things that have happened, who have endorsed these things, who have been silent on the impunity of this regime, must be punished in the next election. Nigerians must, and that is the point that I made on I made on Twitter. I said, look, as citizens, we must imbibe the culture of punishing politicians and political parties that inflict pains on us. The reason why people go into offices and do whatever they like is because of the absence of the policy of consequence. They know nothing will happen. They know they will still be voted for. They will know they will still have people rally for them. But when they do these things that they know that they will pay a heavy price, people become circumspect. People begin to think before they act. So I am saying that it is for Nigerians, the enlightened population, to ensure that those who were implicit, either by their act or omission or by their silence, are punished during the 2023 election. That is the only way that one can rightly say that indeed, we have learned lessons as a country. There has to be a price for this. They shouldn't get away with it. There has to be a price. Those who were silenced when this ban was implemented, those who came out to support it, we must identify them and we must punish them at the pool. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.